So if you're an absolute beginner, you're probably wanting what are fusion chords? So let me give you an example. Let's say we do the basic song, happy birthday to you. And we're using some basic chords here. Happy birthday to you. Now watch this. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday. Watch this. To you. <laughs> But I want to show you that you can use these chords in literally any type of genre. It's a substitution for the one chord. So anytime you're just doing a one chord, you can bless it. Assurance, Jesus is mine. So as you guys can see, man, we're going to have a lot of fun in this video lesson. And ultimately, I want you all to know that my number one goal is to simplify your musical journey, giving you things that you can use instantly in your playing. So in this video, I'm going to give you five different steps to go from basic to amazing. We're going to start on level one by giving you some melody lines, and then we're going to add on a few harmony notes or lower thirds, and then step five is definitely for my advanced musicians. So if you're not advanced, go on and watch step five. So that way you can be inspired and you can also get your ear acclimated to hearing these cluster fusion type of chords. So in step one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a melody line. We wanna keep it pretty simple. So in the key of C, we're gonna do a melody line like this. And that's it, let's do it again. Now, that in the key of C is three, five, one, three, two. And the reason why I'm using numbers is because when we go to other keys, like B flat, three, five, one, three, two, we might go to the key of A flat. Three, five, one, three, two. So it's gonna be really important that you learn your numbers in all 12 keys. So let's go back to the key of C. That melody line one more time is E, G, C, E, D, or three, five, one, three, two. Now what we're gonna do in step two is we're gonna create a lower third. Now before we go to the next step, I want you all to know that I love you so much. We are here every Monday and I'm super excited to get your week off to a great start. And if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up. And if you don't mind, leave a positive comment below or maybe there's something that you want to contribute to the community and uh, you want to leave some encouraging words. But I want you all to know I truly do love you all and I try my best to respond to each and every one of your comments. So feel free to subscribe if you're new to this channel where my number one goal is to simplify your musical journey. Let's go to our next step. Now a lower third is basically Here's our melody line, and we're gonna go down a third. So you're gonna skip this one and go there. And then, so we'll play our melody line, keeping the third below. So watch this. Let me do it one more time. I wanna make sure that even my absolute beginner can follow along in this video lesson. So one more time, here is the, the melody line. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna harmonize by putting the lower third below or a third below the melody line. Next one, next one, next one, next one. All right, and that's gonna be that whole phrase. And what I like to do, you all know, because we're gonna to go to drop two in level three, we're gonna, that harmony or that lower third, we're gonna drop it down. So watch this. I'll do it one more time before we go to step three or level three. So now we've made it to step three, our drop two chords. And I really should have called this maybe rootless voicings, but we'll kind of mix the two together, drop two and rootless voicings. Now, before we get too deep into level three, if you feel like I'm moving too fast at any point, feel free to download the PDF and the MIDI files that's included with this lesson, as well as all of the lessons <laughs> from last week, last year, year before last, your donations cover your free club membership, and it's a lifetime membership. So we're gonna continue to grow this library, and I'm super excited to have you along this musical journey. So in level three, we're gonna cover some drop two chords or some rootless voicings. So let's review real quick. Step one, we did a melody line. 
Step two, we added our lower third. And of course we drop that down. So now we're gonna do some drop two chords along with some rootless voicings. And it sounds like this, listen to this. We can go to different keys. We can go to the key of B flat. We can go to A flat. <laughs> Now I'm gonna take my time uh, because I don't wanna rush through this, but I don't want to go too slow because I've already broken down what drop two chords are as well as rootless voicings. It's free videos and I'm gonna leave those in the description below. Let's go to our melody line here. We're gonna keep it at the top at all times. And the next chord, three, five. Now this is definitely a drop two chord because here's my C major chord with the added two and we're gonna drop the two. Drop two means to drop the second highest note. So here we go. Next chord. This is an F major, add two. We're gonna drop that A down here. So let's review. Back home, and then watch this. And this is nothing but a G major chord, add two. We're gonna drop three down. All right. So as long as you have this pattern in all 12 keys, you're gonna be good to go, I promise you. So let's review. And don't forget you have the PDF to follow along with. Let's go to the key of B flat and do that same pattern. So you can see now we're stepping into level four or step four, our patterns. So we can go to B flat and do that same pattern. <laughs> so let's go back to C. Let's go to B flat. Now, if you're wondering, what did you just do? I love numbers. Three, five, one, three, two. So A flat. You can go to E flat. C sharp, because I'm right here in a three, five, one, three, two. <laughs> so as you can see, these actually connect. That's why I highly encourage you guys to learn all 12 keys, because believe it or not, playing in one key allows you to play some amazing things in another key. So let's go back home here. Now watch this. <laughs> what did I just do? Or what did I do there? So basically I did three, five, one, three, two, and then watch this. Two, three, four, six, five, three, two. So the second pattern is gonna be two, three, four, six, five, three, two. Let me slow it down. Two, three, four, six, five, three, two. And we're gonna use those same type of drop two chords, in some cases, uh, drop three chords. So let's talk about this. So the first one is three, five, one, three, two. Watch this. I'm gonna take this chord right here up a whole step. So let's take it up half whole. You see that? So watch this. Three, five, one, three, two, two, three, four, six, five. Now let me break this down here. So if you can see, so we did start here. Three, five, one, three, two. Take this up a whole step. Two, skip, three, there you go. So two, three. Now this is just connecting our patterns. So our next pattern is gonna be four, six, five, three, two. Do it with me. Four, six, five, three, two. So we connected that two, three. Now we're gonna begin the next pattern. Four, six. I'm just holding them down for you. Five, three. Now this two is a little bit different. Two. Now why did I end here instead of here? Because I'm connecting to the next key of B flat. 
<laughs> so let's review real quick. Three, five, one, three, two, two, three, four, six, five, three, two. Now this two now is the three in what key? Three, two, one in the key of B flat. So that's why we were able to fusion or be able to connect these type of chords to take us to different keys. So three, five, one, three, two, two, three, four, six, five, three. Watch this. Two. Now, what is this? This is three in what key? In A flat major. Three, five, one. You guys see where we're going with this. And we're gonna. <laughs> So what we can do is we can open these chords up. So this is like our level five. So we've discussed our pattern, three, five, one, three, two, and then connecting, two, three, and now the next pattern, four, six, five, three, two. We can drop those chords down, three, five, one, three, two, two, three, four, six, five, three, two. And then we did, of course, our drop two chords, three, five, one, three, two, Two, three, four, six, five, three, two. And this is now three in the key of B flat. Three, five, one. Now, step five, I'm gonna be straight up with you. This is definitely for my advanced musicians. Some of these chords are super wide and super open, but I break down how to play these type of chords and some of these nuances in our expand series. So Feel free to download the Expand series. It's four or five hours long where I take my time to break down these different type of nuances in all 12 keys. All right, so let's jump into level or step five. All right, so step five, we're gonna open things up a little bit. So you'll notice instead of this, we're gonna... <laughs> so this is a nice little stretch. Uh, again, if you can't do the stretch, keep it simple. No shame in your game, okay, I promise. So this is a three, five, woo! So we were just doing this, I'm gonna add a seventh. So this is kind of like a cluster type of chord. So we're playing cluster chords now, as well as open voicings. So the first chord is three, five, and then I'll go up for my one. All right, that's my one. So let's re repeat this. Three, five, one, or one, and then three. I'm slowing these down for you. Three, two. And then you, you all know what we did there. We did this. Two, three, and then watch this. Four. And you all know in that expand series, we talk about little nuances like this. Four, I just wanna give you guys everything I have in this video. Six, this is my six. Watch this, five. <laughs> five, you wanna add that nuance. Again, I go through this in all 12 keys in the expand series. Five. Or those nuances, not this movement here. Three, and then we're gonna close it out. Two, now this is three, remember in the key of B flat. So three, five, one. <laughs> and, whew, and we can keep it simple. Or I want you to create something that works for you. You don't have to do what I do. All right, so let's do this in B flat. Three, five, one, three. And again, this is for my advanced musicians, but listen, if you're an absolute beginner, don't be scared away from this, right? Listen to this, soak it up, because eventually you become what you listen to. So the more you listen to this, the more your ears be will begin to get accustomed to these type of chords, and believe it or not, the more you stretch your fingers, the easier this will get. All right, so one more time. 
three, five, one, three, two, and you can do that little lick there. <laughs> Keep the melody line at the top at all times. Two, three, watch this. <laughs> Four, six, five, three, two. And I'm giving you different variations, okay? So my advanced musicians, you're in luck. Because <laughs> I'm going to give you everything I got. So watch this one. Three, five, one, let's see, three, three, five, one, <laughs> there we go, I like that, one, three, watch this, two, all right, and that's this right here, two, and then let's take this up to three, three, four, mm, four, six, five, that's six, five, three, three. I'm giving you everything I got, man, I promise. Three, two. Now, if you notice, we're in the key of F sharp now. So you see how this is taking us to all, really all 12 keys, but this is taking us down whole steps. So you would have to learn this in C, B flat, A flat, F sharp, E, D, and then back to C. So you all know I love you so much. And I never like to close any video without letting you all know that today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity for you to become a better you.